Good morning. Welcome to the channel. Rick and I are on a Aiken area lake. We uh, have been on the lake two times. One of one time in each of the last two years. Caught some decent fish on this lake. Uh, looking forward to trying it out here again. Uh, largemouth only, I believe. Uh, we've caught some pretty good sized ones here. Some decent average. So I don't know what's going to happen today. The weather's been kind of up and down. It's uh, it's definitely fall here. We're uh, getting a little bit later start than normal. Uh, it's about 8 o'clock, I guess. Uh, we're going to see if we can't get them going. So, hey, thanks so much for joining. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll get started here in a second. <laughs> yeah, that that works for me. I gotta get that scale out. Man, did he inhale it too? They're hungry. Three and a three and a quarter, three and a half. Beauty. Man, that's a good one. really fat. Yeah, it's a nice four pounder, I think. We're damn close. My bladed jig with a Largo shad on it. 3.88 for Rick on the uh, first spot we stopped on. It's a spot we haven't fished before on this lake. Basically his first or second cast on a shallow spot. We're kind of on a sunken hump here. Uh, 3.88 fish number one on a bladed jig by Terminator. I mean, the problem is Sticked him almost straight down. .05 catches that on the Berkeley max scent. I'm picking out a backlash and Rick's catching four pounders. That's a typical. It's not typical. I'm gonna go here. Not as big as the others. It's another three pounder. <laughs> 
Fish number three for Rick. He's catching them on the power bait, the power worm. 2.77, the max scent worm. Awesome. Yeah, that's what I catch. Almost, he's almost a pound and a, and a quarter. Not quite. Just over a pound. Yeah. There's fish number four. It's a 1.21. 1.21. That's uh, one more fish for a five fish goal. Hopefully we can get a two pounder or pound and a halfer and we'll we'll make our 13 pound goal as well. So just gotta get going here. Rick's catching the big ones. I'm counting on him, but he's really letting me down this last three minutes or so. <laughs> <laughs> over 13 I think thanks to your three good ones there's Rick with fish number five he caught that on the the max scent worm again uh, 2.02 2.02 that bad boy takes us up to 13.95 13.95 goal number one and goal number two uh, achieved on this, on our first five fish. Awesome. We're uh, what? We must be what? Two hours in? Two and a half hours in? About two and a half hours in. Fishing's been fairly slow. We've each missed a couple of bites, caught a few pike, but uh, it's uh, it's going about. As it's gone in the past when we were here, we don't catch a ton of fish, but a lot of good ones. So we're going to keep going here. Hopefully we can get get 14 and up to 15. That's what we're, what we're shooting for today is 15 at a minimum. So shouldn't have said that. We're going to get our ass kicked, though. Put the hex on us. Three 
4.06 on the Nico rig, black and blue Senko rig Nico style. 15.80. That called out a pound and a quarter one. So we made 15, which is a big goal of ours. So anything after this is bonus. Let's see what we can do here. It's still plenty early, so hopefully we can. We got one fish under three pounds yet. Really would like to really like to have all of them over three. That would that would be nice. That one felt so nice when I set the hook and he had a, must have had a big stump of weeds on him. Then, then when he started to come up, he lost some of the weeds, I think, and just brought in those that one little strand. He comes to the surf. Right over there. After the last time, I'm not going to say anything. No, he might be better than that little two-pounder. He is right on, right over there. Over there. Oh, we got two under three pounds. I thought we only had one. Here's a call, 2.18, 2.18, that gets us up to 15.98, and Rick's got one going here. Oh, he came off. He might help. Football looking. Yeah, just straight down. Kind of between that, those two pontoon things right out there. There's the edge of the weeds and there's some old sunfish beds on there. rig 16.29 16.29 so the Aiken area was pretty good to recognize today 16.29 can't can't uh, complain about that made to our, our two main goals and our third kind of unofficial goal of over 15 so 16.29 not too bad good size fish in this lake uh, slowed down quite a bit towards afternoon all we could muster were you know pound and a halfers couldn't get anything to cull but uh, it was a pleasant day on the water nice and cool gonna get some rain here tonight we'll see how that goes rick's gonna be gone for the weekend i'll probably get out once myself maybe maybe twice we'll see how the how the weather holds up how i'm feeling but uh he'll be down fishing with tommy hopefully tommy will have a uh, video or coming up on that i'll maybe link his uh his channel in the right here and then you guys can see if how he and Rick do this weekend if they if they put a video out. So we want to thank you so much for joining. For Rick in the back, my name is Mark. This is Man on a Mission Fishing. Please like and subscribe.